Ooh. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Today, we're headed to Santorini, Greece. Now, my favorite part of the airport is going through security. What makes going through security even better is carrying this bad boy. That's right, I brought my Ronin S. Now, the problem is, that thing looks like some sort of crazy machinery weapon bomb when you're putting it through the x-ray thing, so naturally, they're gonna stop you. Now, what makes them stopping me even better is having my camera bag. I haven't even left the airport yet and I'm already... Inside my camera bag is a bunch of lavender scented pillows. Hang on, let me grab one. These. Backstory is, I'm going to Greece to shoot a yoga retreat and the instructor asked me to bring these. They just, they're little eye pillows. They smell fantastic. But the problem is, when you put it through a security camera, it looks like a bag of cocaine. So naturally, they stopped me and swabbed my bag and went through all that stuff and finally, I can relax and get ready to get on the plane. Problem is, I have a transfer in Athens to Santorini, so probably gonna have to do all that again. Anyway, here's Greece. What's up you beauties? So pumped you could join me in Santorini. I'm actually here shooting a yoga retreat and one of the two people running it used to be my boss when I worked back at American Eagle. So she hooked me up with this sweet gig and she's probably the best client I've ever had. This is why. That's right, I get to ride around Santorini, Greece in an ATV, so let me show you around. All right, so first things first, we got our own little private area. Walk in, boom. Little entrance here. Bedroom number one with another door to go outside. You got your standard washroom. What up? And then we head up the stairs. Little downstairs. It's nice and cozy, but this is the coolest part. Head outside. Boom. Private balcony. No big deal. You got your lounge chairs, view of Santorini. Just walk out, have a coffee in the morning, check out the water, sunrise, whatever you want. There's a church right there. It's so picturesque up here, it's fantastic. I think this is somebody else's balcony, but whatever. I'll do what I want. So yeah, that's the room. Pretty sweet setup for a whole week. Should be fun. Okay, so my days look a little bit like this. Wake up, go shoot yoga, eat breakfast, a little bit of free time, shoot more yoga, dinner with the crew, and then whatever I want at night. But most of the time I'm way too tired by the end of the night, so I end up just going to sleep and getting ready for the next morning because they start yoga at like 7 a.m. It's crazy. See these old school keys from like the 1800? These are my new greatest enemy. Let me tell you why. So I just finished shooting yoga in the morning. Went great, went for breakfast, solid breakfast. The food here, unreal. If you're in Greece, try the Greek yogurt with honey. Sheesh. Anyway, back to the point. This key is the worst thing ever. Obviously after shooting, it's the morning, had to go to the washroom. I didn't want anybody to walk in. Makes sense, why would I? So I locked the door from the inside using this key. Finished doing what I was doing and I decided to unlock the door to go out and enjoy Greece. So I put the key in the door to unlock it, turn it to the right, and I hear a snap. The door's unlocked, it's just the lock clicking. Wrong. The key itself broke off in the door. No, 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 no! No! So here I am, locked in the bathroom, until someone from the retreat can come by and save me with help from the hotel. 
One, super embarrassing. Two, terrible idea. Just update your keys, everyone. Europe, you're killing me. Anyway, I'm free now, and I'm not gonna take that for granted, so let's bust out the drone and get some sweet drone footage of Santorini. All right, just finished droning it up, and wouldn't you know it, I got stuck again. This time, it was my fault. Well, more so than the last time, which I guess was kind of my fault also. Check this out. So, our hotel room is pretty central to the hotel, but there's like a design flaw where that they lock a certain door, which makes you have to walk all the way around the hotel to get back to my room. Now, being the self-proclaimed parkour expert that I am, I decided, hey, let me just hop through this window. It'll make it way quicker. This window right here, okay? So this is the terrace where most of the yoga is done and probably the best spot to launch the drone. So I thought, hey, instead of walking all the way around, just jump through the window, Daniel, no problem. Now that's easier said than done. Coming from this way, it's no problem. You slide your leg in and you just jump out. But the other way, it's a bit more of a drop off. So you have to kind of like crawl in and put your knees on the ledge. Problem is, I'm too fat and not good enough at parkour to get out of this easily. So someone had to help me. But what I just realized is that I, I just got myself stuck again without anybody here to help. Never mind. I'm pretty much a parkour expert. So now, just a little bit of free time left before uh, a bus comes in at one, picks us up. We're going on a boat cruise where I have been told I do not have to work, which means I will party. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the boat cruise. You gotta check this boat out. Look at this. Now that you guys have seen the boat, I have a couple hours to just have a few adult beverages, chill out, go swimming, so I'll catch up with you guys later. So the boat cruise was a lot of fun. Now it's time to get up nice and early and go see the sunrise in five minutes. Okay, so for those of you who don't really know me that well, I'm not exactly a morning person. And by not a morning person, I mean I will cut you if you try to wake me up before I want to get up. That being said, the sunrise in Santorini is unreal. If you're here, whether you're a morning person or not, you have to get up and you have to go see it. Now, it might be because I've had one or three espressos at this point, but totally worth it. Do not miss it. Next on the agenda is I get to film a cooking class. So those should be fun. I'm gonna go get some gelato. Let's go. So we're in the streets right now. One thing I find super awkward when doing these videos is vlogging in public, but you gotta do things that make you uncomfortable. So here I am doing it. Now let's see how many of these people are looking back at the footage when they get behind me. We'll keep a tally as I walk. It's lots of traffic. So 20 steps and five hours later, we made it to the gelato place. Look at this. You take photo? Oh, video. video. Advertise for you guys. Voila. Thank you. You're welcome. See if I can do this with one hand.
There you go. Thank you so much. So I ducked out into this little alley so I could eat my gelato without being in the crazy foot traffic over there. Pro tip for gelato, if you're in Europe, always try the lemon. That's like the original, that is the best And I know like, oh, but I like chocolate better than lemon. Trust me, try it, you will love it. I think I'm just gonna stay here all day. It's crazy up there. You know, if this whole photography video business doesn't work out, I'm just gonna open up a gelato shop back home and just eat all of it. Probably not a good business model. I'll stick to what I know. So I've just been sitting back here for a while, finished my gelato a while ago. When I realized, after looking at my phone, I'm supposed to be shooting an acro yoga class right now. Now for those of you who don't know what acro yoga is, it's like acrobatic yoga. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what the acro part stands for, but I will verify. It's actually really cool, so I should probably stop vlogging and head over there and I'll show you guys what acro yoga is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is Dave, Super Dave, Super Dave Yoga, or Super, Super Dave Yoga. Super Dave Yoga on Instagram. Dave, tell the people at home exactly what acro yoga is. Acro yoga is just uh, another word for trusting others. There you go. Dave is going to show you some badass acro yoga. yoga is done and as you might be able to tell from my insane hair my uh, job quickly went from photographing to participating it's pretty crazy but now I need a shower and head to dinner which I actually have to shoot this time I don't even know how I ended up participating and not shooting frustrating morning so far and I figured it's a good time to teach you guys a little lesson about photography itself. Um, I went out in Santorini at sunrise again very early not my time and decided I was gonna get some drone footage while there was no one on the streets the Sun's coming up there's beautiful light blue shadows orange highlights looks beautiful so the story is that my drone would just not respond wireless issues, RC signal loss, choppy video, just everything that could go wrong with the drone was going wrong. The lesson here is that not every photograph or video you see is the real story behind it. A lot of times you're gonna be frustrated, you're gonna have shots that don't work the way you wanted, it's not gonna look the way you did, you think you're gonna go out and see a sunset and the clouds are in the way and it's just not as visually appealing as you want. You gotta be patient and you gotta keep working at it. So tomorrow morning, as much as I hate it, I will be getting up again at 6 a.m. or whatever it may be to get out there and try again. And now I have a cooking class to film, so I'm actually gonna film it this time, I won't participate. Maybe I'll eat the food. But I'll film it. I don't want to try. No, you know what? No, I'll film it. I'll film it and I'll eat the food. I'll eat someone else's. Let's go do that. Okay, this is Ash. She's like the brains behind Explore and Restore. Tell us what's the game plan for this afternoon, Ash. Game plan is to check out a local restaurant and do a cooking class. Um, we get to cook the food, take the recipes home, um, as well as eat the delicious lunch after. All right, shall we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, that's what she just said. I love 
All right, so cooking class is done. None of those yogis butchered the food. At least I think. We'll see if I get food poisoning tomorrow. Now we're gonna go explore the town of Pyrgos. So, Pyrgos nothing. I'm gonna make a sick dad one day. All right, so this is Tiff. She's the other organizer of Explore and Restore. Again, if you guys don't know what it is, check out the website and maybe go to next year's because you really missed out. <laughs> we just finished our cooking class slash lunch and decided to walk to the highest point of the island. island. Yeah, how was that? High, very refreshing. <laughs> Yep. And sweaty at the same time. Yeah, that's kind of like oxymoron, but it yeah, works. Yeah. yeah, it all goes together. I'm sweaty and refreshed <laughs> and very high up. <laughs> and now we're gonna go see Pyrgos. Pyrgos, nothing! That was a long day. I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, so it's like 5.30 in the morning here in Santorini. These streets are usually loaded with people and right now it's a ghost town. Told you guys I was gonna get up and try again with a drone and that's exactly what I'm doing, but this is so freaky, it's legit like dead silent. Check this out. Not a single person. It's like eerily quiet. The weirdest part is there's this little chubby dog. I don't know if you can see him right there, right in like the top right corner. He's just following me. I'm sure it's fine that that dog's following me, right? Like, he seems like a nice dog. So much fun doing this that my advice to you guys is that if you have the opportunity to take on a job like this know your worth but at the same time maybe even you know work for free as long as your expenses are covered stuff like that just to get that experience to be able to do something like this it was a ton of fun the only crappy part is that you know all good things must come to an end so I'll see you guys at the airport well, ladies and gents, that's it for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, so I can catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully there's a bunch more adventures and hopefully I can bring you all with me. Love ya.